Hi folks, HR Funk here, back out on the range with my Llama Max 1 38 Super Pistol. Now several of you have asked me over the course of the last couple of weeks how the pistol was doing, what its status was, and I'm here today to answer those questions. After my last video where I was still getting those malfunctions with the Llama Max 1, the failures to feed, actually what I was getting was a three-point jam. What was happening was the bullet was wedging itself against the barrel feed ramp and not allowing the cartridge to chamber the way it's supposed to. So after I made that last video and I was still getting those problems, I contacted Eagle Imports, which is the company that imports Llama slash Metro Arms, as well as several other pistols, and explained the problem to them. They put me in contact with one of their gunsmiths in Texas who handles their warranty repairs. Now it's important to know if you have one of these pistols and you need to have it repaired, it does not go all the way back to the Philippines to get worked on. It goes to a warranty center or a gunsmith here in the United States. So I contacted the gunsmith in Texas and explained to him what was going on with the pistol and I did ship the pistol back there. I UPS'd it. It's also important to know that if you ship one of these for repair, the shipping cost is on you to get it to the gunsmith for the repair. So it cost me a little over $30 to UPS the pistol down to Texas to get it worked on. The pistol was gone for about two and a half weeks. It just came back yesterday and in an email the gunsmith explained to me that he polished the feed ramp, he replaced the magazine catch, and he replaced the magazine and he took it out and test fired it and he said it ran 100%. So I'm here today to see how it's going to run for me. I have again got several brands of ammunition that I'm going to try out in the pistol and we're going to see how it does. And just for reference purposes, here's the ammunition that I'm going to be using for the testing today. I've got the same Remington 130 grain metal case factory ammo that I used before. I've got a couple of new types of ammunition. One of them is Sig Sauer 38 Super. This is 125 grain full metal jacket ammunition. I've got a few of the Winchester silver tips that gave the pistol such fits before. And these are 125 grain silver tip hollow points and I also have some Sig Sauer elite performance hollow points these are 125 grain jacketed hollow points so this is the ammunition I'm going to be using today for the test fire let's see how it goes and here we go folks first up is the Remington 130 grain full metal jacket ammo let's see how it runs And six rounds in, I've got the exact same malfunction that I was having before. And this is the magazine that came back with the pistol that the gunsmith said that he replaced. Same thing again. Same exact malfunction. Okay, well we're off to a rough start. <laughs> I'm going to switch ammunition and see if it does any better. And here we go with test number two. This is the Sig Sauer 125 grain full metal jacket ammo. We'll see if it'll run. Well, that was better. Well, the SIG FMJs ran so well that next up I'm going to try the 125 grain SIG performance hollow points and see how they'll run in the max one. Well, <laughs> hollow points not doing as well as full metal jackets. Same. Same thing again. This 
pistol does not like hollow points, folks. I can't even get it the chamber out of the magazine at all now. And just because I'm a glutton for punishment, I'm going to go ahead and try the silver tips. And there it is with the silver tips. Same exact malfunction. Folks, I'm going to try one last thing with the pistol and this ammunition that's been giving me trouble. I'm going to see if it'll run through the Chip McCormick magazine. So first up is going to be the Remington 130 grains. We'll see if they run out of the CMC mag. Well, that was better. Well, the Remington ammunition ran better out of the Chip McCormick magazine. Let's see if the 145 grain SIG Elite Performance ammunition will run as well. Things are looking up, folks, just for the change of magazines. And here we go again with the Winchester Silver Tip ammunition. We'll see if they run out of the Chip McCormick magazine. This has been the most difficult stuff to run through this pistol so far. Let's see if maybe after its trip to the gunsmith, it'll run out of the Chip McCormick. Just maybe. <laughs> Just maybe with the Chip McCormick magazine, the pistol's going to run. I'm going to try a mixed magazine this time, folks. This is mixed with Remington 130 grain FMJs and SIG Elite Performance 125 grain jacketed hollow points. So we're going to see how the pistol with the Chip McCormick magazine handles that transition back and forth between the two different types of bullets. Seem to handle it pretty well. Well folks, the Lama Max 1 ran better today after its trip to the gunsmith than it did before, and it definitely ran the best with the Chip McCormick magazine, but I'm still getting that same malfunction intermittently, even with the Chip McCormick, and I'm getting it very frequently with the factory supplied Mechgar magazine. And I think for those reasons, I really can't recommend this pistol. What I'm going to be doing very soon is contacting Eagle Imports and let them know that I'm still getting that same malfunction with this pistol and it hasn't gone away even after the pistol has gone in for repair. And I'm going to see what they want to do to try to make that situation right. I'll report that back to you folks and let you know how it goes. If you have any questions or comments on this video, be sure to let me know below. And as always, until next time, good shooting. Bye-bye.